Those are huge. Oh my god. Oh my god. On this guy. Massive peacock bass. Oh my god, they're all there. I'm on. Yeah. Peacock. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god. Don't forget you got 10 pounds. I know. Oh. Oh my God, I'm so stoked. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> yep. I hope y'all are ready for something different. I got two light action rods and I got a bag of worms. Waiting for my buddy Craig to get here right now. Then we're gonna take the old range and head to some uncharted territory. Good morning. <laughs> we are in front of West Marine right now because we gotta get some tackle because we're gonna try to catch a fish today that neither of us have ever caught. And it's on the back of my shirt. The elusive peacock bass. Peacock bass. <laughs> By the end of today, we're gonna be pro bass fishermen. You think we're gonna if, catch one? If we can one? get any better than we already are. Uh, Yeah, I think we're gonna get one. At least see one. <laughs> At least see one, I know, right? It's been so windy lately that we're resorting to a... Uh... Canal trip. I'm excited about it. Yeah. yeah. Have you Googled yet the best lure for peacock bass? I have not. It says live shiners are almost a can't-miss bait. Topwater plugs, crankbaits, and spoons work good. Skip plastic worms. That's Damn. What you were saying all I fish with worms, and that's why you haven't got one yet. The only bait I brought was worms. <laughs> all right, we're going to have to do some lure shopping. So we'll have Heiko on worms and I'll be using the top five lures and we'll see who hits it first. I don't know if I'm going to use worms anymore. No, you're on worms. You said it. Google tells me not to use worms. <laughs> yeah. Well, we stopped at a gas station and the range wouldn't turn back on. So slight hiccup. Craig ran back to his apartment, which is a half a mile that way. And he's going to get some jumpers, jumper box, and maybe that'll fix the problem. This is a great start to our professional bass fishing career. Okay, will she fire up? We're on the way. We almost made it. That's a big almost. Here we go. Fingers crossed. No! Put on the brake, baby. I had a feeling it was maybe not a camera or a ba battery issue. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got the lucky I got hit. the lucky You hit. tried, you tried. Just give it a nice turn. Ah! No? No. <laughs> okay, um, I wonder if it's a fuse problem. Nope. Damn. Let's see here. Make sure we're getting this part. We are? You got one? Damn. Okay. The car is, the car is running. Craig, Craig figured it out. Watch this. We tried everything. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, car's turned off. It's in park. If I try to turn the key, oh, nothing's happening. Let's put it back. In. But if I put it in, what is it? Neutral. Put it in neutral. Boom! Oh, so it's right up. Not sure how we uh it'll figure that out. We tried everything. <laughs> Change the oil, every fuse. Whoo! Burn like a kitten. Yeah. On the road again. <laughs> We're currently driving north along the infamous Blue Wall because I know the ponds and canals all around Homestead and Miami are full of big peacock bass. I was told the guys at Don's Bait and Tackle here in Homestead can help me get the right lures for bass fishing, so we stopped there first. Hey baby, all right, sh what we got in here? It's a Shiderville right here, load it up. Don's Bait and Tackle. We're here in Homestead, Don's Bait and Tackle. We got ourselves some lures. The guys in there are real great. They, they really helped us out and they convinced us to buy live shiners. We we weren't going to use live bait yeah, today. We but... weren't going to get cheaters, but 
It's been a rough day, so. <laughs> we figured anything we can do to help us along, we're gonna do it. Yeah, so we got live live shiners, then we got Miro Dean lures yeah. and these Rapala X wraps. Bam. Let's get to it. Rigged up, ready to roll. Yeah, we got both our GoPros. We strapped the GoPro on Craig. Yeah, it's my first time. It's getting kind of used to it. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> weird, you know, it's ultimate tool status. Yeah. Man, boy, did we have some car problems. We tried changing the fuses. We did an oil change. We did everything. We read the manual front to back. We did everything. And then somehow Craig found out that the car only starts in neutral. Yeah. That's the new thing, only in neutral. So, yep. Went through the motions, got it going. We're gonna grab our camera gear. We're gonna grab our live shiners. We got three rods. There's a canal back behind us. We're just gonna go for a little trip. On we go. Oh, there's a little one that just swam up to him. Dude, I just saw, I think I just saw a big peacock like in the depths down there. Yeah, I'm just gonna do him right, oh, right through the bottom lip and through the top. This would be hilarious if he yeah. swims down the first one. I don't see him anymore, but he's gotta be down there somewhere. Ready? I got one! He's on me. He's on me. Oh, oh, I got one! Dude! Oh my god! Nice job! My first peacock bass ever! Yeah, dude! That's amazing! Oh, oh my gosh. Sight fished him, saw him, threw on him, came back. I want a bigger one for the pot, but. That's crazy. Dang, that was Dude, so nice. awesome. Alright, I'm gonna drop him in. Good job, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> so we came here, we got one. <laughs> Boom, it's all uphill from here. <laughs> Two of them. Big ol', it's a, that's a, uh, that's a nice peacock and a um, black bass. one right there. Yeah, <gasps> They're everywhere dude. We just gotta pitch one out there. <laughs> oh yeah. So we've been walking for like a mile now. We just saw a couple fat peacocks. I think a large mouth. Large mouth. Yeah. But we don't have our rods with us because we decided just to walk. We're going back getting our rods now and then we're gonna cast on those fatties. Getting a little spooked, you know, as soon yeah, as we yeah. walk up. So I think we just throw one from out here. Dude, massive, massive peacock bass. All right, let's let's do it. I'm going for a belly hook. Okay, we got our live shiner. We're rolling. There must have been 15 there, over four or five pounds. You ready for this? Let's do it. They're all there. Is there one on it? They're going for it. <laughs> yeah, this is this is tougher than I thought it would be. I'm gonna lift. Did you have one hit it? Yeah, one time. did hit it. Maybe you want to throw it from over here so the wind's behind you. Yeah. All right, I lip hooked them. Okay. Oh, he got it. He's on it. Yeah. I think you're on. I think you're on. I'm on. Yeah. Yep, yeah, you're on. Peacock. 
Oh yeah, baby. Oh All yeah. Right. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't as hard as we thought. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Did you see that, yeah, Joe? Oh, he's nice. Don't forget, you got 10 pounds. You got I know. 50 pounds. Woo! Oh my God, I'm so stoked. Oh yeah, God. bro! <laughs> All right. Wow. Wow. Nice fish, man. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Can't believe it. Holy smokes. Damn. You called it. That's and you hit that front of that calder and just took it, came out of it and just hit it. Yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. Cleaned up for the catch and cook. I'm going to cut him in the throat. The catch and cook. All right, I got his heart. He's bleeding out now. Okay, we're yep. ble bleeding him out. We're gonna gut him, put him on ice, and we're gonna catch some more. Look at all the ones right behind him here. <laughs> some of those are black bass, too. You're lucky you got one of the peacocks. There's a few black bass in there for sure. All right. How's the meat look? I think it looks great. Nice white. And, nice and white. Looks good. They say it tastes like grouper or snapper. We'll, we'll see. Gutted, got his gills out, everything. Deadly right. weapon here. Going in, first peacock attempt. Let's go for it. Ever. This is gonna be Craig's first peacock bass ever. <gasps> you got it, you got it. Yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he got off. Oh, I got off. Oh. Oh, fail. <laughs> hey, I almost leadered him. Damn. Eat it. He's chilling. Where is he? Straight down. Down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he just ate it. Oh, yeah, you're on. You're on. Oh, you're on. Oh, yeah. Nice. Not a monster, but. Is that perfect? Woo. Actually. So mine was the same size as your your first one. Alright. Alright, man. Craig's first peacock. <laughs> Old junior, call him. But hey man, he's, first one. He's still good start. looking. Yeah. We both broke our cherries. Yeah, man. Add that to our list of accomplishments. Bam! Yeah, I got one. <laughs> Woo I see him. What is this gar chasing him? What's the guard going after? Get him. <laughs> All right. Nice.
Nice. Oh yeah. Whew, that was about a mile walk. At least. Oh, uh, back to the car, yeah, at least. <laughs> Whew. Beer time. But we caught like, well, how many, six? Seven, seven, seven I think. Uh, lost about seven or eight. Yeah. yeah epic day, fun. I, I'd Just say good. for not really knowing what we were doing, it was pretty good. successful. We saw some monsters. Huge monsters. We didn't catch any on uh, artificials though, but. Hooked up a couple though. They just. Yeah. Next time, figure out. Next time. time you know, maybe do an evening session next. We're going to be the best bass fisherman in the world yeah, has ever yeah. seen. Oh, yeah. It's party time. It's a good looking bass. Oh, it's so cute, man. We're back at the crib, and I got, what do I got in the bag, Caitlin? Bass, sweetheart. Bass! Yo, show me that bass. <laughs> Let me see your peacock. Same. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. And I already gutted him and everything. To nice. Keep him fresh. So apparently, according to Google, some people say peacock bass taste similar to snapper and grouper. Which is funny because snapper and grouper taste nothing like each other, but those are the two <laughs> things people compare to. We're gonna fry him on up, and unfortunately Craig won't be able to make it because they're flying back to Colorado tomorrow morning and have to get ready. And we are, we're flying to Michigan. No, we're not. Missouri. No. Where are we flying to? Well, we're flying to Chicago mm -hmm. for your brother's wedding. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yes. We're flying to Chicago and we're driving to Michigan tomorrow morning. Well, this is like a hard fish. Like, the meat's kind of hard. It's interesting. Oh yeah, look at that meat. Can we get some light on that? Mm -hmm. It's a very white, white meat. I'm cutting over the rib cage. Mm -hmm. Wow, looks great. Yeah, that does look good. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. Looking real good. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and skin him. Mousy. Uh oh, careful. Okay. Skin this guy real quick. Boom. There's the skin. A peacock bass skin. <laughs> we'll just cut it into fry size sections. That looks good, right? Mm hmm. Perfect. Boom. Look at these great looking pieces of. I mean, it looks great. Mm hmm. Looks really good. All right, I'll finish up the fish and then we'll get to breading and frying. Perfect. Now, now we have two. She's getting so smart. We have two Elliot's. Elliot. Elliot, come here. Oh my God, they're little eyes. They're little glowing eyes. Get it, Benny. Come here, Elliot. <laughs> Ta-da. Looking pretty good, right? Pretty good. Little slivers, fried fish fingers. Sure you know, right. mm -hmm. I, they're about finger length. So we don't have eggs, but I read online that you can substitute tomato paste for egg. So this it's is so interesting. Makes no sense. This is something I've never tried before, but I'm excited. I think it's going to be good in a weird way. 
Adding a little bit of water to the tomato paste. I'm gonna microwave it in like 30 seconds. I think I should need more water maybe. Um, yeah, maybe just a little more. That looks better. Okay, it looks perfect. Mm -hmm. there's our tomato paste perfect. with some water. And in this bowl, we're gonna do our breading. I'm gonna do fresh fish fry. You got this. Zatarians. Zatarans. Damn it. Zatarans. I was gonna put first one, the person who does. So I got a little bit of that, and we're gonna do a nice chunk of panko, Japanese style seasoned panko. And then we're also gonna take some cayenne powder and just, you know, give it a little kick. So let's mix it all up. Oh yeah. There we go, our first piece of fish. We'll get it all tomato pasty down. And then we will bread it. How does that look? This is interesting. I've never done it like this. Right? I hope so again. Can we all get suggested if it wasn't? Okay, here we go. Bam! Our first piece done. That's pretty good looking, huh? So I'll do the rest of the pieces and then we'll get to frying. Mm -hmm. Look at all these delicious pieces of finger licking good peacock bass. We got some peanut oil here, about an, an inch of peanut oil in this pan. Set to a, a medium heat. Oh, it looks perfect. Wow, look at that fry. Mm -hmm. Winning. Can I fit all of them? You think I can fit all of them? I think you guys should try. All right, I'm gonna try. All right. We got all, we got a whole peacock bass in there right now. That's buck wild. <laughs> They're looking real crispy. Yeah, they don't feel that crispy and I wonder if it has something to do with the uh, tomato base or they just need to dry oh yeah oh this one feels real good it would die peacock bass no worry you'll get some buddy ow <laughs> get an Elliot <laughs> boom chakalaka Smells good. I got some mango habanero dipping sauce, which I thought would be perfect for this. I wanna start with like a nice fat long one. Okay, I'm gonna try it first without the dipping sauce. Yeah. Peacock bass. B bass to mouth. <laughs> Mmm, that's really good. Really? I Is thought the really tomato paste might be kind of weird, but... Mmm. Let's see that inside, bro. Oh, yeah. It's nice white. Yeah. Pretty flaky. Um, it doesn't really have a fish flavor at all. Okay. It's kind of like, like fried catfish or fried white fish. So it just tastes really good. I don't know how else to explain it. It's just, yeah. Oh, this breading is really good. Mm. Which I think it. makes the fish even better. Nice. Mmm. I'm excited to try it. Peacock bass, pass and cook. See? You want to take a bite right now? I'm sorry. Mmm. Try it without the sauce. Whoa, good save, I feel. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? That's good. It has no, like, yeah, no fishy flavor. Um, Boom. It's a great eating fish. Mm-hmm.
Peacock Pass. Yeehaw. Perfect. All right, well, what a crazy day, car problems. Met a lot of new people at the tackle shop. They convinced us to buy live shiners, which led us to catching fish. You're looking at a pro bass fisherman right here. Oh, stop. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next fishing episode. Cheers. <laughs>